What's up guys, Wonderbro here. Today I'm going to teach you a very important brain trick. Now this brain trick goes back to pretty much everything we've talked about. Everything we've talked about, so you want to hear it. Listen up, okay? Your brain does not know the difference between real and imaginary, which is why we suffer so much when we have negative thoughts, okay? Because your brain sees that as real and happening right now. Okay, so there's your proof on that little bit of information. But anyway, how does this help us? Okay, when you use the accept it method that we preach here on the channel about anxiety, and you accept your anxiety, and you continue to live as normally as possible, and you don't let your behaviors come out, come off as fearful, all right, your behaviors are still, you're keeping your behaviors normal, you're doing things you would do regardless of anxiety, you're putting on a smile, you're dancing, you're laughing, what does this do? Okay, your brain sees your behaviors even though you're anxious, it sees you, let's say, pretending to be normal. It sees, you, it sees you carrying on as normally as possible. It sees your behaviors, and that's all it can go on, is your behaviors. It sees this, and although it does take some time to relay that message back to your subconscious mind, although it does take a little bit of time, it's watching your behaviors day in and day out to decide what level of anxiety to give you, to decide if the anxiety it's currently giving you is appropriate or not. Which is why when you use coping methods and avoidance and all that stuff, your brain sees that and it's like, oh, well, there's a threat. It doesn't know that the anxiety is the threat, but it says, oh, well, there's a threat, so we're doing the job right, and it keeps your anxiety high. Now, we went over that before, but how does this help you in everyday life? How does this help you? How does this brain trick help you in everyday life? Well, if, for example, for if the next six months or for the next year or however long, I went around pretending to not be anxious at all, pretending to be happy, um, even if even if I was struggling with depression, pretending to be this bubbly person that I used to be. Eventually, my subconscious would get that message, and I would start to feel the way that I'm acting. It wouldn't be pretend. After a while, it would no longer be pretend, and I would actually start to feel bubbly and happy. happy. And that's the cool thing about this little brain trick, okay, because we can literally choose how we want to feel if we dedicate to that in time. That's why people say it's such a good thing, you know, to try to be a more positive person in your everyday life. That's why people say it's such a good thing just to put on a smile even if you don't want to smile, okay, because that's the thing, guys. Your brain is watching. It is watching your behaviors. If it sees you slumped around, using avoidance, using coping methods, you know, constantly bitching, it's, it's going to make you feel that way on the inside. It's going to keep you feeling that way, okay? We are setting the stage for how we want to feel. And even though it may feel a little forced, or a lot forced, even though it may feel like pretend, because it probably will be, when we act the way we want to feel, we will eventually really feel that way, and it won't be pretend anymore. And I think that applies to the acceptance method as well, because... When you're accepting and you're cutting out the coping methods and you're cutting out the avoidance and you're living as normal as possible and you're not letting anxiety rule your life and you're just doing things you would do regardless, even if you don't feel like doing them, that comes back to acceptance because eventually your brain sees that, it sets your anxiety lower, your nerves heal, and you go back to your normal life. So really, not only is this, you know, subconscious brain trick, hack, whatever you want to call it, not only can it apply to everything in life, but it can also apply to your acceptance method that we preach here on the channel. And that's just, you know, that's just science. That's just why it works. Okay, so if you act a certain way, if you act how you want to feel, eventually you will feel that way. And it won't be pretend anymore. But you're going to have to force yourself to do things that you don't feel like doing. You're going to have to force yourself to have fun, even if it doesn't feel that fun. You're going to have to force yourself to wear a smile, to dance, to laugh, to talk, uh, you know, to talk to other people. You're going to have to force yourself to act the way you want to feel. And it's going to feel a little weird at first, but eventually that will become you. And it won't be pretend anymore. Your nerves will heal. Your anxiety will go back to, re, uh, you know, reset to normal levels. Your nerves will heal and you'll feel like yourself again. So that is a very important little brain hack and tip. You know, I've already basically taught you guys this with the accept it method in my other videos, but I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about how this works, because like I said, you know, this could help anybody. 
not just people with anxiety, but, you know, people with depression, people who are just, you know, negative people, you know, start being more positive, start, you know, acting how you want to feel, and soon you will feel that way, all right, but a lot of people don't have the dedication for that, because it does take a little bit of time to relay that message back to your subconscious and become the new you, and a lot of people, you know, don't have the patience, they don't have the dedication, and that's just the truth, but if you would dedicate yourself to acceptance, if you would dedicate yourself to retraining your brain and behaving the way that you want to feel, you will eventually get there, I promise. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just wanted to lay down those details for you today. It's kind of exciting. It's really fun, um, you know, to talk about this kind of stuff. I'm a geek when it comes to this kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, that's what acceptance is all about. That's why it works. That's how the, that's how the brain works. So continue to live as normally as possible despite your anxiety. Cut out coping methods, cut out avoidance, and just act how you want to feel, even if you have to pretend. Your brain doesn't know the difference, and eventually that'll become the real you. Anyway, guys, make sure you like this video because it really helps me out. Let's get, come on, come on, smack the like button, smack the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and click the little notification bell. That time you get notified every single time I upload or live stream, which we do a lot of, and you won't miss out. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay awesome.